Breaking tonight, we are now less than 60 minutes from a full curfew in the city of Baltimore, Maryland, with thousands of National Guard troops and law enforcement officers preparing to clear the streets in less than an hour, whether people want to go or not. Welcome to The Kelly File. I'm Megan Kelly, everyone. There are an estimated 2,000 National Guard troops expected to be activated by the end of tonight, with nearly 1,000 law enforcement officers from both Maryland and surrounding states now on the ground in Baltimore to help. And with more than 250 arrests since yesterday, 144 cars burnt, and more than a dozen buildings burned as well, it seems like the city will need all the help it can get. In addition to police and soldiers, more than three dozen fire engines, eight truck companies, and two heavy rescue units from surrounding counties are also being called in after the fiery scenes we saw play out in looted stores, senior centers, and even on the streets when we were together this time last night as we watched it unfold together live. All of this happening in a city less than 60 miles from our nation's capital. And with reports coming in that some folks may be traveling to Baltimore to be a part of this so-called protest, we could be in for another long night. We have got Fox team coverage for you tonight. Correspondents Leland Vittert, Rick Leventhal, and Mike Tobin now are all live on the ground. Plus, Fox News senior political analyst Britt Hume is here to explain why he thinks there is a direct link between this situation and the protests we saw in Ferguson. But first, we go to Leland Vittert, who is again live on the streets of Baltimore for us tonight. Leland? And Megan, it is getting chaotic. What was calm is now anything but. We've got folks, as you can see, here screaming, yelling at the camera. Go ahead and take a look at the police line that is out here. It's unbelievable the amount of anger that is out here on the streets that has bubbled up here in just the past couple of minutes. Is this man screaming at me? We're asking neighborhoods. As you said, this one. being violent. Okay, I appreciate your thoughts. No, you don't appreciate it. Appreciate all the concerns. Why do you want me to leave? Look. Why My name is Joseph Kent, right? Okay, the Joseph. I've been out here for all the protests. Look, this is me. You've I'm been in the city. For a long time. What are you angry about? I'm in about? the city paper. Tell me what you're angry about. Look, I'm not angry at all. I'm angry at the fact that it's police brutality that's not getting no wind, getting no answers. I'm not with all the violent shit. Okay, but okay. Look, listen, listen. Look, don't, Man, curse. I put, don't curse. I got you. Listen, they listen. got a sniper. Oh, you think these motherfuckers are going to shine? Yo, look, they got a sniper camera pointed on us right now. He's got a He's got a sniper gun pointed on us right now. If you look over here, you can just get a sense of how the police, though, are still very passive. Megan, we saw that. Up, start, come back at this. Right. We're going to go, we're gonna go send They're it back to you. Line. Sorry about this. All right, Leland, get to get to someplace safe. This is, I mean, this is ridiculous. This is how folks want to be heard. They want to shout down the reporter. They want to endanger him. They want to get in his face. Really? We're going to stay, we're, we're staying on this. Leland's got the police right behind him. You can see that there. And we have a security guard with him as well. And we're going to make sure that he stays safe. But this is the situation that, that is down there. This is the way fee, folks are, are dealing with their anger. Shouting down a reporter trying to do his job, trying to bring their message out. That's what he's trying to do. Tell me why you're angry. And other people are shouting in his face. The profanities and, else, and other things.